Good evening. Can you hear me now? Good evening. Good evening, all. I'd like to get the uh, award ceremony started. Thank you. Welcome to the York County High School exhibit. This is our 11th year doing this. Um, my name is Dr. Joe Stenick. I'm going to be serving as your master of ceremony, so to speak, to, uh, tonight, but not but not by myself. I have a co-master of ceremonies right here next to me. Uh, this is a really a collaborative adventure because it involves three different entities. First of all, the uh, York County uh, Art Council, which is where the show obviously is housed, and also uh, the York County Arts Council has been working with CRAG, which stands for the Catawba River Arts Guild. And uh, Brad here on my side is uh, the past president of it, and he's, rep he's also has served as one of the judges. And uh, the third entity is uh, the York uh, YAG, which stands for Yorkville Art Guild, an organization that existed here in the county for about 40 years. We finally dissolved a couple years ago, but we had some money left over, so we gave it to the Arts Council in order to continue the show because YAG, the Yorkville Arts Guild, is the organization that started the show 11 years ago, but uh, is being uh, hosted now by Craig, all these letters. <laughs> so uh, YC, <laughs> YC, uh, YC what? I don't know. York <laughs> County Arts Council. AC is working with uh, CRAG <laughs> with money from YAG. <laughs> uh, first of all, I need to thank a, a number of people. First of all, of course, is our, the executive director, uh, Deborah Hines, who's over there at the railing, uh, who runs the show. Uh, of course, she's got a great staff. And including uh, Mike uh, Gentry, who is the gallery manager. It's his job to, oh, he yeah, he's up there. It's his job to get the gallery ready and to help hang and get the labels and that sort of thing. Uh, also, Jessica Calloway, is she here? Okay, she can, you can hardly see her. She's a short little art teacher. <laughs> uh, She's been our uh, teacher at Liaison for 11 years now. From the very beginning, from the very beginning of the show. And it's her job to communicate with all the teachers in the county and to give them the rules and regulations about presentation, hang, hanging, and uh, picking up their art. And then the two other people that I need to thank are the judges. This year we had two judges. Last year we had three. One was busy making 100 turkeys or something, I heard. But anyway, uh, Jack Bolin, who was a well-known artist in the area, he's been, he was uh, really a founder of the uh, YAG, of uh, the York County Arts Guild. And um, he was one of the judges. And this other judge is on my side here, Dr. Brad Sabelli, who is the former president of CREC. <laughs> right, that's right. That's right. I got that one right. Um, so, at this time, you want me to do a couple yes. At this time, uh, uh, Brad, Brad, yeah, <laughs> Brad, Brad, Brad from Craig is going to uh, talk a little bit about the judging that went on here and uh, and the art in general. Yes. Great. Um, I have to tell you, every year I do a judging here, the bar gets raised and never love it. And uh, I think the students meet that. But I think because I see a lot of the art teachers, those are the folks that need an applause. Can we give them an outstanding applause? <laughs> and, uh, I think that's important. I'm a university professor at George Washington University at the Portland School of Arts and Design. So I see about four or 500 students on uh, uh, semi-annual basis and monthly basis and so forth. Um, and when I look at people's artwork and when I look at what's here, 
I would probably say a good percentage of you, I'd like to grab a hold of you and see if you're interested in uh, applying to GW. But that's, I'm not a sales pitch. That's not what I'm here for. Um, but I have to say that there are, Jack and I really had a hard time making our choices here um, because there's so many different medium that are represented. We've got uh, 3D sculpture, we've got photography, we've got art, we've got mixed media, uh, we have collage. We have everything going on. That tells me something about the art programs. You art teachers are going crazy coming up with ideas. Um, I think you're on top of it. In terms of your teachers, I think they know what the, the needs are in terms of the fine arts. But uh, Jack and I have to come up with three different, I guess it's three criteria. The first is obvious, your technical ability. Um, if you know how to do your technical skills and you know how to apply that, that's fantastic. The second is composition. When you take all those things, all those elements together, and you compose an image, that tells the judge or you all what to expect in terms of the artwork. But for me, the most important thing is the message. Every work of art tells a story. Uh, and certainly, if you ever apply to a, an undergraduate university with the, winning a BFA in art, they're going to ask you, what kind of story does that painting say? Or does the sculpture, what does it mean? So if you have a story to tell, and that story is wonderfully presented and it's brilliantly executed, somebody might buy your artwork. And that's why artists are successful that way. Um, I sell my art based on that. I'm also a Broadway designer, so I don't have to worry about uh, that. I just, they just hire me to do a show and I do it. But most importantly is that's a message that has to be conveyed. And if it tells a wonderful story, it's successful. To me, that's a signature. You have said something, and it's very worthy of that. So um, if we could give ribbons to everybody, that would be terrific. Well, we can't do that. But I think everybody here is a winner. Every time you raise that bar and you meet that demand and potential, you're a winner. And you have to thank those art teachers who are serving as your mentor. Okay, now I'll give it to you. Now, let's cut to the chase cut and get to the awards. So we're going to start out with the... Mention about the photo session. All right. Yes, at the end, we're going to have a photo session. I guess we've got a couple of people here with the cameras, right? So if you can hang around to the end and... Don't leave. We'll, we'll we'll need your photo. All the winners, right? The rest of you can hang around, too. <laughs> okay, we're going to go with honorable mentions first. Uh, first person is a, is a white charcoal work called No Pain, No Gain by Piper Grant, Northwestern High School. <laughs> the next one is a pen and ink work called Thirst by Mia Collins, Rock Hill High School. Mia and I here. Okay. The, uh, the next work is a Micron Pen work, Marie Antoinette by Paxton Plishka, Rockville High School. mentions an oil jazz by Megan Gilligan Clover High <laughs> the honorable mentions get certificates no money unfortunately unless we get a bunch of it into our treasury now I'll move to the, uh, the other awards starting with the third place which will be a certificate and a check for $50 for a mixed media work, Scream by Cheyenne Schuffner, York Company. <laughs> Second 
second place in photography. As you can see, as Brad has mentioned, we're in all kinds of media here. Uh, photography, Midnight by Abigail Kettner, Nation Four. This is for a hundred dollars. First place, first place, white charcoal work glass by, oh, excuse me. First place, acrylic work, perfume bottle and a jar of marbles by Sonia Long, Northwestern. A certificate and check for $150. And lastly, of the 95 we've had, we had I failed to mention we have 95 works here uh, representing six different schools. Best of show, a white charcoal, white, excuse me, white charcoal piece of work, glass by Cheyenne Schuffner, York Comprehensive. with a check for $200. This is an unusual, this is an unusual event in that we had one person claiming two separate prizes. Uh, first of all, let's have a big round for all the uh, I'd like to do something different this year. I would like the, all the teachers of these fine artists to come forward, if that was, if that's possible, to let yourself be recognized. Instead of jumping up and down and waving your arms, I'd like you to come forward and uh, maybe even uh, introduce yourself. Yes, that would be good. Tell, tell us where, who you are, uh, what school you're, your school you represent and other important statistics. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, look at them all. All right, let's move over here. Okay, let's start. The aliens is here. <laughs> let's start over here, let's start over here. Hi, I'm Ash, I don't like that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ashley Beard, and I teach at South Point High School. Luann Lovelace, Clover High School. Kim Grant, Northwestern High School. Debbie Borosik, York Comprehensive. Leslie Timbleton, York Comprehensive High School. Sandy Queen, Northwestern High School. Alicia Cobbler, Nation Ford High School. Leslie <coughs> Corelli, Fortville High School. Jessica Calloway, Fort Mill High School. I'm Kim Cash at Rock Hill High School. Shelly Nivens at Northwestern. All right, how about a good one? Yes. I was I was a high school teacher 60 years ago, as a matter of fact, uh, and hung in there for. Eight years, I guess, until I got my advanced degree from a doctorate and came to Winthrop. So I know what high school teaching is like. So all these wonderful teachers need our support and a lot of TLC. And if we can convince the government, more money. Yes. Right? Yeah. Well, let's give them a hand. Yeah. for coming. Uh, there are some refreshments left, I guess. And then uh, look around the, uh, and enjoy Christmas. Thank you guys. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.